Hello everyone! For today's science activity we are going to be making a mini catapult. So to do that what you'll first need to do is get five lolly sticks. and stack them together so that they're on top of each other. You'll then need to get two elastic bands and wrap one elastic band around each end of your lolly stick stack to hold them in place just like I'm doing. So it'll look just like this. Then put that down and get two more lolly sticks. You're then going to get another elastic band and wrap your elastic band around one end of your two lolly sticks. Just like this. Then you pull apart your two lolly sticks and between your two lolly sticks you put your stack of lolly sticks so that you form a cross shape. You then need another elastic band which you use to hold that in place. So you may need some help from an adult to do this or you may be able to do that on your own. You also may need to put two elastic bands to hold that together. So it's going to look like this. Okay, I'm just going to put another elastic band just to make sure that that holds it in place properly. Okay, so that's the end of all the elastic bands and that's your base your catapult. So now you need to add the basket for your catapult and that is going to be a lid from a milk bottle. So to do that we're going to get some double-sided tape and we're going to cut off a small piece and tape it to the end of your lolly stick. I always find this is the most difficult part, getting the tape to come off. There we go. And then if you stick on your lid, hold that for a few seconds, and there is your basic catapult. So then it's chance to test it. So if you add something to your basket, I've got a mini marshmallow I found. If you push down and let go, there you go. So, once you've got your basic mini catapult, you can test to see if it works. And I hope you have fun making that at home. So, why don't you see if you can improve it? You could see if adding more lolly sticks on your wedge makes it fire further or a shorter distance or you could see if you can make the arm longer whether that makes it fire a shorter or longer distance or why not see if you can test different things to fire maybe something heavier or lighter will go a shorter or longer distance but remember to be careful, never fire it at a person, okay? So we hope you have fun with this activity at home. Share your results with us at Surrey Libraries on Facebook and Twitter 
we'd love to hear what you find out at home and we'll see you soon. So follow us at Surrey Libraries on Facebook and Twitter for more information and goodbye.